Come on aboard, Captain. We are staying the night in a little boat at Bar Barcares. Please tell me if I pronounced that incorrectly, but Mark's going to show you this the is sunset our... before. It's very windy and I really apologise if it's too windy. This is our amazing, amazing yacht. It's was, not a yacht. I think it's a sailing boat. <laughs> this is something out of the film Dead Calm. Yeah, we're waiting for with, Billy Zane. With um, Billy to come Zane, and I will show you the sunset. You need to turn the camera around then. <laughs> it's our sailing boat, our yacht. And this is where we're staying tonight. Excuse the wind, it's like 75 miles an hour winds today. Yeah? So we're here for one night. Um, something really, really quirky, something really, really different. And not expensive. We'll let you know how much we paid. At the end. Yeah, watch to the end, it'll we'll tell you. Here's our captain. <laughs> captain Morgan. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Come on in and have a look. It won't take long because it's not very big. There we go. We've got, oh, God, little steps here. I guess there is like a bed there. A bed there. Some lovely seating out on the, the deck. You've got enough here, you could actually. Oh God. Lay down, enjoy the sunshine. Right, okay. On the Mediterranean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a um, radio, that's our entertainment for the night. We have a kettle, we have a vacuum cleaner, uh, air conditioning and heater all in one, as seen on QVC. Uh, this is our kitchen head, kitchen head. <laughs> I think. An induction plate cups and saucers and the lights and the huge bed it's not a huge bed and you have to sleep with your head the wrong way round if that makes sense because it narrows that's where your kind of feet go so it's going to be a bit strange and I'm just going to come in here and turn around oh my giddy up because in here the little cupboard <laughs> you can't actually see because it's dark there's a microwave and a refrigerator. Now, <laughs> you know, we really wink or something. The only problem that I have is that in an emergency, just, hang on, it's okay. That's the loo. I guess there's two bowls, one for- Number ones. Number ones oh, and for number, number twos. <laughs> and I think the silver ones. Oh. Are no, I'm just going to be number one in if I really have to. It's only because the toilets are really clean, but, excuse me, Mac. Oh, but imagine a glass of vino tonight and then I'm having to come in the pitch dark up the little steps. Walk the plank. Whoa. Walk the plank that isn't great. And then way, way over there in the distance, this, it's like a yellow block. That's toilet and the showers. No. I'd like to think that I could make it. It's just this bit that scares me a little bit. Um, so it might be a case of the blue bucket. Just for little number ones, if I get desperate. If we get desperate, I can always start the engines. And what, what does that we achieve? We sail out of here into the distance. Yeah, that's not happening. So, Mark. How was your night? Well, at one point, I thought the sailing boat was drifting off to sea. Well, it's, it's actually been demoted now then from a yacht yesterday to the, to the sailing boat. Well, Good. somebody actually Googled it last night to see what it's actually called, small and it, it's a small boat. sailing boat. And anyway, it, really, it is very small. Um, it must have been about two o'clock in the morning, the wind was lapping the bottom of the boat. The and wind was really strong last night. Um, but. I so we show you the, the little port, marina, whatever it's called. We're going to head off now. And oh, there she is, Neptune 77. Actually, it's a hot chocolate. And we're going to go and find the sunset. 
So this is the route we have to take to go and have a wee. Yeah. The wind has died down this morning compared to yesterday. The wind has died down, thank goodness. Because yesterday it was. Last night, it was supposed to calm down during the night. But at one point, it was, it was more the noise. Um, and the bed's a weird angle, so your feet are kind of goes into a really narrow area. And we're not small people, so it was cosy. There is a plus side. There is a plus side? There's a plus side. We had a lovely meal last night. Mark had a nice burger. Mark had a nice burger, sorry. Mark had a nice burger last night. Can you talk a walk, love? <laughs> so we're going to yes. miss the sunset. <laughs> Mike had a nice burger last night. My muscles, um, not so nice. They were a little withered. Okay, we have this little cave fob to get out. So it's really secure. And she did say for me to wear it around my neck in case I dropped it in the water. So, right. So, the one fishing boat is not here, so... Yeah, there's a little... It's got the fishing boats there. We didn't hear them go out this morning. Because it was too bloody windy. <laughs> Couldn't hear anything. Um, but then you've got people that sell their fish then here. That's the toilet block I was talking about. We'll go in there later. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, he's a bit... Poor old thing. It's not had much fish. Mm. Got a fresh catch there. Oh. But I'm now gonna go and see the sunrise over the Mediterranean. Oh here by the way is the tourist oh. information. Oh, okay. The office to tourism. I looked at it yesterday. It doesn't it's look very open, babe. It's October. No, it's outside. Oh, it still doesn't look very open. Anyway, that's the Pyrenees over there. Pyrenees in the distance. And here. We've just missed the sun rising. So it's up. Our last proper sunrise, we were in Asia. Well, we've seen sunrises no, at home. No, a proper one by the seaside. Oh, by the sea, yeah. Because yeah. we live in the middle of fields and countryside. That's nice, no smoking on the beach. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to drink this, I'm going to go for my five kilometre run along the beach. <laughs> He's lying. But what a difference with the wind. Yeah, it's not windy. Well, it's a little breeze, but nothing compared to yesterday. I can imagine three months ago, in the height of the summer, this was pretty busy. <clears throat> I would have thought so. God, we're living it up, aren't we? Coffee in a plastic uh, beaker. Yeah, and I did say to him, double double up the plastic because it's going to be really hot and burn my hands. Uh -huh. But he insisted that one was enough, so yeah, it's now burning my hands. Yeah, well, you've got chef hands. Right. Nice little rug to walk on. Yeah, an empty beach. Ah, oh, that was a nice silhouette of you drinking your tea in the sun. Just thinking. That's dangerous, isn't it? Oh, God, that doesn't happen very often. Go on. Astamed so, me, Mark. So, why are we actually here? Why are we here? We're here. What brought us oh. to the Mediterranean? Because we're going to have a look at what could be the start of our next adventure. I suppose in the last month, lots of things have changed, gearing up for our new adventure, isn't it? Yeah. Sold the camping car, motor home. Yeah. She She's went. gone. So, the sunrise on the Mediterranean 
in October. <laughs> it's really not very warm, but it's blue sky and the wind has dropped. So we will catch you later. Oh, did you know also, oh. we're only 30 minutes from Spain. I think you may have mentioned that, love. We're 30 minutes from Spain. Mark's never been to Spain. That's on our list. So. We're so, so close, but I've got no passport to go across to Spain. I have a passport. So we just thought we'd have a look at the catch if the lady doesn't mind. C'est bon? Bonjour. 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 Now uh, everything looks really, really fresh. So if you need some fish and you're in this area, it's the three brothers. You can see how nice and shiny everything is. It's fresh, isn't it? Yes. Merci, madame. Good evening, madame. Au revoir. It's Mark. As the sun is rising over the Mediterranean, and you've had a restful night <laughs> on your super yacht. <laughs> How much did it cost? Well, this little piece of heaven for one night only was 54 euros. I don't think that's bad. And it was like a, a roller coaster at some point, about two o'clock in the morning, where it was going up and down. Do you see that you've mentioned the fact but that it was a bit But 54 better. euro. For your own sailing boat. Not super yacht. Just off the Mediterranean, same water, but just just off a little bit. And I've never done this before and I don't think I'll ever do it again. <laughs> Why, because it was so uncomfortable? No, on a serious note, it was nice. It's unique, isn't it? This is what we wanted. We wanted a quirky experience. I didn't I think yeah. The hotels and the the, the hotels and the um, apartments are quite expensive here, even out of season. So I just thought, just as a quirky one-off experience, we'd try a little boat, something we'll probably never do again. It's not something we've done before. And for 54 euros, I think it's a ka-ching bargain. Ka-ching. It's an experience, and an experience that I'd never, ever think I would have done. Like I say, it was just... Oh, boy, I'll do again. <laughs> Never say never. Anyway. But the next time we'd be lovely in a canal boat. Oh god, it is going to be again then. Right, so anyway, there we go. 54 euros, bargain, booking.com. Okay, let's, let's hit the road, Jack. Let's hit the road, Jack. We will leave this windy, sunny port. Barricade. Barcarat. Barcarat. Bar I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. That was our... That was our home from home. Oh no, our home last night. Right? Lovely blue sky down south. It's, it's still very, very windy. I always say wherever we go, things look very Thai or whatever. Exit onto Avenue Charles de Gaulle. This looks very French. Right,